home tab font group bucket drop down make it green and there we have it and the hiccups okay so that looks good so so now i could say uh that that we we do a uh p of x calculation so i could say well let's look what the p of x looks like control shift down and shift up to not pick up the total control backspace to get back to the top and then i'm going to say insert charts let's put this in place with a bar chart boom and so there's our our uh, actual data this is for 2022 comparison let's say and then i'm going to put my actual data on top of it well first let's fix the x's the x's down here they need to be fixed something needs to be done about these x's we're going to go to the chart design we're going to go to select and then edit this on the left and then add our x's i'll be selecting my x's okay i'll be so you don't just give me random x's i'm the one that picks them so there they are and then we're going to say okay and then now let's put the actual data on top of it to compare it. So we're gonna to go to the chart design, data select, and then we're gonna add more data and I'm gonna call it actual percent of total. And then we're gonna say, boom, and let's pick up our actual data and okay, okay. And so now you can see this one's a little bit kind of weirder because, well, let's add the legend. Hit the plus button. We're going to add a legend and it's going to show a picture of me. Oh, man, I'm, I thought when you look it up in the dictionary, legend, then I thought there's a picture of me when, that, when you do that. But no, they put the legend here. So then now this one, you know, it's a little bit more wonky, but it still kind of conforms to, to so you think the bell curve would still give us some predictive power. So we're gonna say, all right, let's put that down here in our collection of pictures. I'll put this over here. I have a lot of pictures. On your phone of your family and stuff? No, they're of charts. They're, they're chart pictures. They're really important to me. I have to keep them safe over there. Okay, so now we're gonna say that we want the difference so we can call this, uh, let's put it up top, differences, let's say, let's make that orange, home tab, font group, drop down, making it, let's say, dark orange or something, and white, and then let's put the differences for the X's, and then the P of X's, maybe, and then we can say the differences between the actual... Uh, percent of total that we can do differences on selecting these items home tab font group making it black white centered wrapping it I need to unhide my 2000 uh, 1920 data which is between L and T putting my cursor on the drop down or on the column L to, to you Lou we're going to Lou and right click skip to the loo my darling and uh we want to unhide where's your darling she skipped off to the loo skipping to the loo my darling that's a song nobody knows what you're talking about that song is ancient for crying out no need what's the loo and okay whatever skipping to the loo man so Let's just do this. Actually, let's just pull over the X's. So the X's are just gonna be this, and then I'm gonna copy it down. And we're gonna copy it down to here. And then let's go to the home tab numbers and remove some of the decimals. Okay, we can make this a little bit smaller possibly. All right, and then the P of X is, I'm gonna say is equal to the difference between the 1920 P of X data. So this minus 
than this data. So I can say, boom, there's that. And I can make it a percent possibly, home tab, number, percentify, adding some decimals, double clicking to take it on down. So now we're looking at the difference between 1920 and, uh, and uh, 2022. I could do that for, let's do that. Let's insert a cell here, right click, insert for the Z's as well. So for the Z's, I could say this equals the uh, Z here minus the Z there. So, and then I don't wanna make that a percent. Let's format this one, home tab, font group, format, paint it. And so there's our difference. And then I'll just double click to bring that on down. We can take the differences in the actual percent of the total. So this equals the actual data for 1920 minus 2022, boom, making that into a percent, home tab, number percent, adding some decimals, double clicking it on down. So there's some, uh, some comparison data. And then of course we could make some other graphs and try to graph these things on top of each other if we wanted to, such as the uh, 1920 P of X and the 2022, just to see them overlapping each other to see what that would look like. So let's take the P of X here. I'm gonna say control shift down and then uh, shift up and control backspace back to the top, insert charts and let's 